Hello and welcome to another tutorial in CS4010, the structural dynamics and finite element method. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to find the natural frequencies of a given structure. So for example, I already finished my project with my bridge and now I want to find the natural frequencies of this bridge to uh, estimate the danger during the earthquake or maybe due to the wind load. So first of all, we need the model component. So please drag it into the model, into the static structure and to the model component. If you move further, so it will be overused data. And if you move less, so you don't have enough information. So please move to the model. Now you can see the connection in between them and you can edit here because it's gray out. So double click on the first one model to open it and you have the upstream data. Yep, so now you can see this is my uh, old analysis with my bridge and the stress, strain, stress and the actual force. Now, I need to do the analysis for this structure, but I want to know the natural frequency, so I have to move to model. In the model, you don't have the fixed support yet, so you need to define it. The fixed support for the static structure is in this component A5, and you are moving to component B5 now, so you need to define it again. So just click on maybe edge selections. Define them and create a fixed support. Now, in analysis setting, you can find the max modes to find. For me, at the moment, I'm fine with six modes. So, if I click there and solve it. Alright, now if you click on solutions, you can see all of the natural frequencies over here and if you want to see the animation how it fluctuate or vibrate you can select them and create the mode shape results now you have the mode shape result here but you haven't evaluated yet so right click and evaluate all results yep now you have the animations for example, for the first frequency, which is about 0 0.9099, if you click on this play button, you can see how it vibrates. Now, the vibration is not exaggerated, so it's really hard for us to see uh, how it vibrates. So please choose auto scale. All right. So the first frequency is often a translation one, so it may go up or down or sideways. It depends on your structure, the thickness of the concrete slab, and the profile of your beam. Now let's see the second one. So now you can see that it's treated. Because our uh, bridge quite slant, very slim, so therefore you can see it twisted this way. Now the next one. Yep, so now you can see when you vibrate way too much, you can have them move not parallelly, maybe in opposite directions. Yeah, number four. Yep, so twist and sideways at the same time. Number five. Yep, now you have three nodes. In here will be the point of uh, counteract. So this one go up and this one go down. So at here, you don't have the movement. Here now you have four point. So technically, uh, how many degrees of freedoms you have, the same number of modes of vibration you may have. So for me, two number four is not enough. I try to increase a bit uh, the analysis setting and try to increase a bit to about maybe 50 and try to solve it.
Yep. And now if you click on solution, you can see about 50 of them. And the frequency go all the way up to about uh, 14 hertz. I think the earthquake often have very low frequencies. If it's far away from the epicenter, I think it's maybe 1 or 2 hertz. And maximum, I think maybe 20 hertz. I don't see much of that in my life. So I think we can uh, try to find up to the requirement from the design. You know, how many hertz you want to see the frequencies up to. And if you can see here, so the first six is just duplicated. So they are the same that we found before. Only the new one is added later. And if you are interested in any of them, you can right click at them and create more shape result and evaluate the result. And that is this way you can know that your structure is in danger due to some uh, given frequencies like wind load or earthquake. And therefore, you can adapt your structure to move away from that dangerous frequency. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tutorial.